Now, Minority Leader in Parliament, Alexander Afenyo Markin, has today launched an attack and made unfounded claims against the Joy Brand. Now, senior news editor and head of our political desk, Evans Mensa. Joy FM, you people are known for a lot of mischief. And I would encourage you, no, I will say it, I will say it. Joy is becoming notorious. Joy FM is becoming notorious. Right? It's my bona fide. Your role, your role as a media house is to play your role objectively and help the cause of democracy. Well, today, case letter forcing is the majority leader as we speak today. And that is very clear on the face of what had, this, had been decided by the speaker yesterday. That's what it is. And Alexa Nathaniel Marking is wrong in questioning our reporting of the facts. Majority leader, please. Do, say that correctly. Say that correctly. Can you address me properly? If you are not ready, I won't take your question and you can black me out. You. Now, you know, I know you're not a very happy man this afternoon. Of course, I can be. Uh, when you have the now the minority leader, uh, Alexander Fanyo Marking, make confounded accusations against the media organization that I represent, obviously, uh, you cannot be happy. But the point about the, his issue, and it started yesterday, fundamentally says that he, we should not describe him as the minority leader. Let's be clear, Alexander Fanyo Marking is the minority leader as we speak. The MPP is the minority party in parliament as of today. The NDC is the majority party in parliament as of today. Case Lato Forcing is the majority leader as we speak today. And that is very clear on the face of what had, had been decided by the speaker yesterday. That's what it is. And Alexa Nafanyo Marking is wrong in questioning our reporting of the facts, as we all saw play out in the full glare of this country on national television, as did by the Speaker of Parliament, we can only report that. There is a contest over whether it was constitutional mm -hmm. or not. That contest will be decided by the Supreme Court. That is not our domain as journalists. We will have to report what has happened in Parliament. Parliament is the master of his own rules. When the Speaker did it in 2020, it was a law in Parliament. The speaker has done it today, it's a law in Parliament. And we can only report that fact. And so, to repeat the point, Alexander Nathaniel Marking is wrong to question our report and to accuse us of being mischievous. We're not mischievous. Are we taking any when, when he was in Parliament then, as one of the leaders in 2020, and this happened, he was happy with that decision at the time. Now, of course, things has flipped because you have, a, you have a, a hung parliament and it has implications for your ability to hold on to your majority position. And of course, I understand. It, is, it takes us personally because, of course, you are the leader at the time when this has been taken. So you understand why he is unhappy about the outcome. But what he cannot do is to tell the journalist not to report the fact. He's not you. entitled to do that. And nobody, even when you are grieved at an outcome of a decision of a, an authority such as this, the parliament, remember that the speaker was delivering that ruling, but he was doing it as the parliament of the Republic of Ghana. When an authority like that has delivered a verdict, mm to tell a journalist not to report that verdict and its implications mm -hmm. is just wrong and we won't do that because as we say, we are bold, we are fearless, we are credible, but above all else, we can be all this, but if we fail to be accurate and factual and balanced, then we, we stop being journalists.